Hello everyone, this is Jenna here um, and this is me playing around with my paints and my art materials to make a mixed media journal page. I'm a Christian and this is something I love to do as part of my prayer life um, to talk to God, to listen to God and to respond to him in what I'm creating. Right guys, so I've been playing around uh, with the colour green, kind of inspired by some lovely daffodils. Um, it's the 1st of February today and it's hardly springtime but we've had a really mild winter and there are actually daffodils out in my garden which just bring me so much joy and I really love that sort of limey green this is possibly my favorite color in fact it is my favorite color I have to say um, this kind of limey yellow green color is my happy place so um, I decided to play around with that today and I've enjoyed just spreading some acrylic paint around with uh, so a green and a yellow and I use my palette knife for that and then I've sprinkled on some lime green brush -o as well which kind of went a bit crazy I put a bit too much on and used various techniques to try and move it around the page a bit eventually ending in me picking up um, some paint on my brush I'm making sorry not some paint some of the pigment I should say from the brush -o, and making these little crosses around and although Easter is still a little way away I am thinking about Easter at the moment I'm preparing some stuff for a class um, in the local primary school where we're going to do some art journaling around Jesus on the cross and so at the moment I'm just thinking about the resurrection I guess how in spring everything comes back to life and that is an echo of how Jesus conquered death after those three days he rose again and the power and the hope and the joy and everything that is associated with that is really exciting there's a lot of energy in this painting at the moment so um, I don't know where it's going right now I don't start with a plan I just play and see what God seems to be saying so uh, I'll have a little think about what we're going to do next So the last time you saw me working on this page I was doing this sepia ink drippage coming down here and my dad phoned in the middle of recording so you only got the first bit of it I'm afraid and the reason I was doing that uh, I was inspired by this sort of rusty colour that was coming through um, from the brush that I'd put on the page and I, I love rust I don't know why I, I think it's really beautiful and so I guess I was exploring the idea we talked about uh, new life and the daffodils and um, so I, was, I guess I was exploring the flip side of that the idea of decay and death and then that leading to uh, resurrection and new life and the beauty of that really the beauty of the cross and the beauty of the resurrection that's the sort of idea that was in my mind um, and then I uh, went upstairs and I started I don't know if you can see there's a sort of stem going on here I started drawing a bit of a flower 
wildflower kind of thing and it for some reason it just didn't feel right so I stopped and I took a picture of the page and I I've never done this before actually but I took a picture of it as it is and then I started playing around with some software on my phone drawing on top of the photograph that I'd taken and for some reason I drew these roots of the trees and I'm gonna hopefully put a picture of it up on screen now so you can see what I drew so this wasn't on the page the page still looks like this this was on my on the photograph on my phone um, and, but I thought that's actually quite a cool way of experimenting isn't it if you're not sure about something but I really felt drawn to draw these roots so these are the roots that I drew on my phone and you can see there's two trees with the roots going down and I love this really like this idea and I would like to do this actually on my page with some paint or something like that but before I do I think I still need to work a bit more on the background get a bit more imagery and maybe some pattern on there first So guys, you just watched me uh, use a napkin with some beautiful daffodils on that I happen to have in my stash. And I love using napkins as a way of getting imagery onto a page because you can get such an integrated look. And if you peel off the back layers, um, usually napkins have three layers maybe two but usually three and if you just take the very thin top layer and I use Mod, Mod Podge is it called um there it is Mod Podge uh, so matte Mod Podge I put a layer on then I stick on my napkin and I put another layer over the top very important and it gives a lovely integrated look on the page and I even did some tiny little leaves um, down the sides as well and I might do more of those with another napkin I had. Um, these daffodils are very poignant for me at this time of year so um, in a few days time it will be two years since I lost my mum to breast cancer and uh, when we found out that the breast cancer had come back and that she didn't have long, the thing that made me so cross was the fact that she wasn't going to get to see the daffodils again come up. Um, I don't, what a ridiculous thing, but it was, it was just something that I really grieved for her. Um, but actually, we had we had almost a year after that point in time and uh, the week before she died she was in a hospice and I just filled that room with daffodils cut daffodils and um, it was a little bit early for them but they were available in the supermarkets and I just loved that she was able to enjoy them for the last few days of her life and I miss her greatly. Um, she was my best friend 
but I know that one day I will see her again in that she's entered a new springtime now in the kingdom of heaven um, where I'm sure there is beauty beyond imagination so I'm thinking of her uh, as I'm doing this today so I haven't forgotten about my roots the roots are on their way this page is a bit um, crazy you're probably looking at it thinking my goodness what a what a big mess <laughs> because um, it, there's lots of kind of organic uh, layers going on so I, I I might try and get a little bit of structure on maybe with a pattern from a stencil something like that onto the page um, and then I am definitely going to be putting some roots on Well, folks, thank you for your patience with this one. Um, I've fiddled around with it quite a bit, uh, but I think it's getting there now. So um, I'd just like to talk to you about where we've got to. So here we are, our roots. And I'm not quite sure which way up to show you this picture. They are roots rather than branches, but I kind of did them the wrong way up kind of on purpose really because um, our roots they they go up into heaven don't they where our home is and we are rooted in Christ um, my Bible Bible verses so then just as you received Christ Jesus as Lord continue to live in him rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught and overflowing with thankfulness. So I wanted the root to be, rather than hidden in the ground, to be reaching upwards to heaven and reaching into these beautiful daffodils from our napkins into life. Our roots are in life, not in death. And when I think about my mum, who's gone to be with Jesus, I think of her as alive, as returning to her roots, I guess. We, that's a phrase we use, isn't it, when we say we're going to where our um, family is from, where our uh, bloodline is, I guess, where, where we belong, where we came from. And uh, that's where she is where um, all of those who love Jesus have returned to if they're not with us anymore so this is about rebirth new life 
life after death and all those things we can start to celebrate in springtime going on into Easter. I hope you like this piece. It's a bit busy um, and I might do something with a background uh, PDF that you can have a play with yourself. You can use in your Bible journaling, stick in your Bibles um, or do your own Easter resurrection picture on and I'd love to see that if you have a go. Okay, bye for now.